I always read out loud to him, and uh, sometimes I've been ambitious on book choice. You know, like when he was nine years old, I decided to read him the diary of Anne Frank, you know? Well, at the time, I was thinking, female protagonist, he's going to learn about history. This will be good for him, right? Uh, I didn't realize nine years old is way too young for that book. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys remember, a lot happens in that book, right? Like, Anne Frank gets her period. And my son goes, Mommy, what's a period? And I'm like, oh, OK. Well, uh, when girls are Anne's age, they start to menstruate. And that means once a month, blood flows uncontrollably out of their vaginas <laughs> for four to 15 days, <laughs> depending on the girl. And uh, here's the thing. We all know what it is. It's no big deal to us. but. To watch someone hear that information for the first time. Mwah. Yeah. Guys, if you don't have kids, go to a park tomorrow, please. <laughs> Treat yourself. Find some nine year olds, read a Judy Bloom book out loud, they will run right into traffic. <laughs> My kid couldn't even talk, right? One hand went right to the crotch, uh, because I think he thought it would start bleeding for four to 15 days. And the other hand went up to block more information. And then he just wailed, ah! It was like a minute long dance of defense. And then he calmed down, and I pick up the book again, and he goes, wow, I hope no more bad things happen to Anne Frank. oh, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> he can't handle the ending of this book. He will have a stroke. <laughs> so on the fly, I came up with a different ending to the diary of Anne Frank. I said, screw it. I'm going to give this little girl the life she should have had. <laughs> so I said, great news, honey. She survived the war. She came to America. She married the singer-songwriter James Taylor. <laughs> She opened the very successful women's clothing store, Ann Taylor Loft. <laughs> to honor her time in the attic, God bless America.